All right, welcome back to Marshall Remodel. This is the Mad County Build Series, and today we're going to talk about whitewashing the ceiling, and it was a little bit of a challenge, to mm, say the yeah. least. It was almost a disaster. Yeah, so before we get started, our original plan with this shiplap ceiling that we made, uh, we'll leave a link to that video right now up above, we were going to paint it white. Uh, but after we put the wood up, we... I mainly was like, wow, this is a lot prettier than I had anticipated, so let's not paint it. Uh, and that presented some challenges because Paul had already prepped it in some ways to just be painted. Let's just get into the video and we will talk about the troubles and how we dealt with them as we did the ceiling. But I think the end result is what we originally wanted. Yes. And they're awesome. So let's just get to it. We are working on the ceilings and we are going to do a paint, but we're going to thin it out to 50% paint, 50% water. We've done some testing, some test pieces, and we like that mixture. It's almost like a stain. It uh, works out really well and you can still see all of the detail of the wood, but it gives it a light white tint so that we can avoid the yellowing and all that stuff over time. So, got some paint here. I'm gonna start out with this. I'm just gonna take this stick, stick it down in there, and then I'm gonna get a bucket and fill it with that amount of water, put it in there, and then mix it up, and that's how I'm gonna get my 50-50 ratio. So. Now that I got the same amount of water in another bucket, I'll go dump it in there and mix it up and that'll give us our ratio for what we're doing. All right, so I'm sure a lot of you can relate to this, but as soon as I got started on this project, I wasn't even one board in and I realized that this was gonna take way longer than I anticipated and that it was not going to be any fun. So it was one of those projects that you just didn't wanna do, but when it was all said and done, it turned out really nice and I was happy with the end result. So the biggest problem that we encountered were the white spots that you can see on the ceiling right now. Those were all knots that I primed in anticipation for painting the ceiling and that really created uh, a problem. I did not sand them down enough before whitewashing so it just created an uh, inconsistent look that uh, I wasn't happy with. And so what we ended up doing is going back and really sanding those which was very difficult because it was up above your head and we had to get it back down almost to the bare wood so that it would look consistent. All right guys, so this right here is done. You can see it looks pretty good, but the problem we've had are those spots you can see that are darker, and that's where I primed the knots when we thought we were gonna paint it. So prior to putting it up, I primed those knots just to get better coverage, but then we changed our minds to whitewash it. So I'm having to go around and really sand those down to get a nice consistent look. So you can see back here where I've done that, 
it looks real nice and consistent, but over here, I gotta sand all that down. All right, so the process that I found that worked best outside of the knots having to be sand is I used a roller and very gently just rolled the paint on. And you don't want very much paint on your roller at all or it will go everywhere. So this worked pretty good just to get it up there. And then I would take a staining pad and wipe it in and then once it was all wiped in, I would take just a uh, staining pad or I had a couple old socks actually that I used. They were just dipped in water to kind of feather out the edges so all of the places where I had to overlap looked nice and even. And this ended up working out really well. Time consuming, but the end result was really good. Once we figured out how much these spots need to be sanded down before finishing, Emily and I went around with the sanders and sanded all these spots almost down to the wood, bare wood, so that we wouldn't have to sand uh, after we whitewashed, and that worked out really well. The rest of the way, we could just put the paint on, and then we didn't have to do any sanding after the fact. All right, so that's a wrap for that uh, whitewashing of the ceiling. If you're asking what would I do different if I had to do it over again, and obviously um, if I'd have known that we were gonna whitewash it from the beginning, I would have whitewashed all of those boards before putting them up. But the plan was to paint, and I know how fast it is to spray, so I was just going to spray it all up on the ceiling. But Sometimes your plans changes and you just have to figure it out. Obviously, this t ended up taking a lot longer than uh, what I wanted it to. If you have any questions about this project, guys, um, feel free to ask. Um, my wife is going to put a blog up on her website about it. Um, but it turned out awesome. It's a great way uh, to still be able to see the grain and the character of the wood, but avoid that yellow tinting of pine over time and... We'll see what it looks like a year from now, and we'll share that with you guys. But I think it's going to end up being pretty good. If not, I'll let you guys uh, know what we're not happy about or what we are happy about. So 
Thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next video.